Okay, all right. Well, we got interrupted halfway through, a few technical problems, but we're back on the call. Um, uh, so, yeah, um, yeah, putting the, putting the postulate out there, putting the, 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 the idea out there, and, and it, it just puts some um, posture also that you're a professional and you're going to set the time down. And once it's out there, then you're more than likely going to stick to that time. But without a time being there, I don't, I, I don't like the lack of intentionality. Okay. So take control yeah. nicely and say, you know, just want to make sure I get uh, get um, uh, control of my Saturday, that Saturday. I'm just going to pencil in 5 o'clock or 5.30 or whatever is more comfortable for you. You know, we can move it if need be, but let's aim at that time. Okay. And just drop her, drop, drop her, give her a call or drop her a text. Probably a text is, um, and I'm just, say, hey, I'm just looking at my calendar. Um, you know, going to get together towards the end of the day. I'm just going to pencil in five o'clock, okay? Dot, dot, dot. Okay. And that's it. I'll do that. Do you, and it's done nicely. There's no arrogance, but there is a little bit of posture there, and it just makes it happen. Okay, sweetheart? Sounds good. I did have the opportunity this morning again, too, which another uh, a friend of mine, she wasn't on my list. She's on my list, but it's not, it wasn't on the top ten. She probably should have mm-hmm. been. But uh, anyway, a nurse I used to work with, she's a nurse practitioner now, her name is Paula. Mm-hmm. And what was funny was, um, I, uh, you know how drug reps come into where, where I work, and there, there's always someone there on a Friday morning, so I got stuck in traffic a little bit this morning, and I did not get to, because it was an accident, I did not get to go by Lonnie, to see Lonnie yet. But uh, right. I get at work, and there's my friend Paula. Mm. Um, you know, showing her drug, and it was funny because we just got to talking, and we never talked about her drug, her oncology drug. But um, mm-hmm. we got to talking, and um, probably spent about twenty minutes talking with her, catching up. And she lives in Tyler, actually. And mm-hmm. um, so we just got catching up, and then I said, "Look, we've got to get together." And you know, she was asking me what's new with me and all that, and I said, "You know, I, I'm, I'm, um, you know, I started." Um, you know, a part-time business that's really going great for me, and um, it's awesome, and I really want to be able to, you know, share this with you, so, you know, and I just don't want to get into it now, because I'd like to tell you about it appropriately, you know, so um, anyway, so we're going to make a, you know, we didn't set a date or anything, but that was great that I got to actually see her face-to-face, and, you know, and she was excited to see me, and, um, you know, just, we used to work together side by side, so she's a really great person, and she's got a great personality, and that may, that, you know, maybe something that she, you never know. Exactly, was, and was and whilst you go in, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but whilst you go in with that attitude, you know, it, it, she'll reach out if she wants it. She'll reach out. Uh-huh. Um, but all you need to do is an opportunity to show her what you're doing and keep it laid back. Uh, professional, laid back, um, but but as and when now you've put this planted the seed, you can now make a call, you know, maybe early next week or whatever, and say, hey Paula, we spoke last week about um, you taking a look at you know what I'm I'm doing alongside this current business, um, and then I would just go straight for the time, you know, when when are you going to be back in the well, back in the area? Are you back? What, what, yeah, find out what day she's back in the area. Is she coming in all the time, or is she is she all, all around Texas? No, the, she, she's got like territory that she works, but I'll go to I'll go to Tyler. Sure, yeah. In which oh, case, man, you know, I'm, give her a call and say, look, I'm going to be in Tyler, um, you know, on this day, this day. Uh, when's going to be a good time for us to get together? Let's meet for lunch, or let's meet, you know, whatever. But nice and intentional, make that happen. If she's out peddling um, drugs um, to uh, to to um, offices like yours. She's a hustler. She gets out there. She's good with people. She's talking to people all the time. And if she if she likes what she sees, she'd be a great asset. And if she doesn't, she's going to be someone that goes on the drip list and we'll, call, we'll keep in touch with every three to six months. And maybe yeah, she'll join down the line. But that's where it is. It's nice and gentle, mm-hmm. nice and simple, nice and easy. We're not emotionally attached to anybody joining our business. We just want to show them what we're doing. So great job. Yeah. I mean, I find this was great that I'm doing this because it's given me – you know, some more, just more confidence and um, making it more of a job. Like, you know, right. That, that's right. That's what I find. If I'm making, if I'm treating it more like a job, it's 
it just seems to, you know, I can present it, you know, better. And right. More and, th- and this week, you know, this week, you know you've got to call me. Now, I'm not your boss, right? But we have right. agreed that I'm your accountability partner. N- knowing that you've got to call me, boy, that I, I don't even need to ask you. It makes a huge difference. Mm-hmm. You you have to get your stuff done, and if you get your getting your stuff done is what I always talk about, which is just showing up to work. At your job, you have to get your stuff done. At school, you have to get your stuff done. In Ambit, you have to get your stuff done, and I'm just here to make sure you do it. And if you do it, you'll get to EC at the same rate we talked about on Sunday, two calls a day, one accountability call. You'll be able to quit your job within uh, a year and a half to two years, and you'll be EC in eighteen months. Can't wait. Just keep doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Add to that your gorgeous looks and your personality, and you'll probably do it in 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> works for me. Works for me. I mean, that's how I got there so quickly. Actually, yeah. I didn't. It took me four. It took me. It took me four years because I'm ugly. But uh... <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear. All right. Well, Heather, let me. Um, did you get all your 10 calls done? Uh. No, we didn't do – I still got two more here I need to tell you about. Okay, so you're going to get them done – try and get them done tomorrow before Sunday? Uh, before Sunday. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to have to try to um, – in between. I'm going to that training all day in Dallas. Okay. Uh, I've, got, I've got someone else I need to tell you about so you can help me on plan this. Hey, happy to do it. Happy to do it. What you got? Okay. So um, this is – they're pre- we live in the same little town, mm-hmm. Je- Jeff and Amy, and um, I've been friends with Amy for probably 20 years. Jeff, not so much. I mean, I know him; it's her husband, but um, but I I see him as the one, you know. Even though she is into marketing, but I just I just can't see Amy. Um, I don't know. Like, don't assume, right? Right. So, but I'm 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 so hesitant about approaching Jeff with this, um, and I'll tell you the reason. I just don't think he likes me. <laughs> really? What makes you think he doesn't I don't, like he, you? Well, I don't. He, it's well, maybe it's just his personality. He's always been kind of um, aloof. I guess would be what I like. He's never been rude to me or anything, but. Um, you know, maybe that, I'm just, I could be just thinking that way. Let me ask but, you a question. Uh, Let me ask you a uh-huh. question. Uh, you know people, you're good with people. Could he be shy and he's kind of compensating for it a little bit? I've sometimes come across that myself when they're a little shy or a little awkward amongst people, especially people of the opposite sex. Could he possibly be shy? I don't know. Maybe. Well, here, maybe, here's I mean, Here's, here's what I would do. First of all, it's the same mindset as we always have. We only need three in our business, and we're going to help them do the same thing. So whether he joins or not, we don't care. We just want people to look. But mm-hmm. um, the, most, the most important thing is, is we're not going to be emotionally attached to whether he joins or not, which is what I'm talking about. So I would invite Amy and ask Jeff to be there because what, is, what does Jeff do? He works. He's um, something to do with, like, um, computers, um, um, and he actually was running for some type of political in this in this town. I'm not sure if it was mayor or something. A couple of years, year and a half or so ago, and he actually came knocking on my door asking if he could put a sign on my front lawn, and I, I let him. So okay, I mean, great. you know, he. So was, uh, I would, I would, um, you know, let's put an invitation for Amy, um, pretty much like you did for Deirdre and uh, Brandon. Okay. Sounds like it's exactly the same thing. And I'd say, you know, you know, I, 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 I talk about getting together with Amy and ask if uh, Jeff could be there because you'd really, you want to show Amy the business, but you'd really appreciate Jeff's opinion. You know, you've, give him a compliment. Us guys, we are all ego. And if a pretty okay. girl gives us a compliment, we're all over it. So... And if you're going to invite her, she's the one you've known for 20 years. Whether she does it or not, we don't know. But I would definitely say, you know, I want to show you what I'm doing. So get an invite that's very much like the one for Deirdre. So, hey, Amy, I'm in a little bit of a hurry right now, but I've been meaning to give you a call all week. Do you have a couple of seconds? And she'll say yes, and you can say, 
um, where you know that um, Donnie and I, you know, we're obviously getting close to our retirement age, and I'm, I'm obviously working hard in my job, but I've got to make sure that I make more money so I've got enough retirement because we're just not going to have enough otherwise. So there's your why. So we started a new business project, really excited about it. Not only is it going to get our retirement filled to the brim, but I'm also going to be able to quit my job within uh, a year to 18 months, maybe two years at the outside. Really excited about what I'm doing. But I want you to know what I'm doing, Amy, because I need, um, I, I, I need people to know so that they can refer me and if there's you know, possible, you can point customers to me and this type of thing. But secondly, um, I probably need to know a little bit more about Amy, but I, I would say, Amy, I'd like you to take a look at this because if you know her why, if you've known her for 20 years, you'll know what her potential why is. What do you think her why may be? Her why? Retirement? Uh, yes, and they have got uh, two kids, one in high school and one in college. Two okay, boys. how old are they? How old is Amy? Amy and Jeff, they're um, my age, I would say, maybe just a okay, year so they or two go. younger. So I would say, so Amy, you know, I know you and Jeff are at the same age as me, and I know you've got kids who are expensive right now, college and, and about to be in college. And this may suit, it's working so well for Donnie and I, it may, may work for you too. I don't know if it's going to be your cup of tea, and that's perfectly fine. We've been friends for 20 years. It won't make any difference to that. Um, but let's get together for coffee um, uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening or whatever, or if I can come over at the weekend, because I'd really like Jeff to see this too. I really respect his opinion. And I'd really appreciate okay. to see, you know, for he, what, see what he thinks. Okay, I like That's that. That's how I would his them. opinion. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, us guys, we're shallow. <laughs> stroke, our, stroke our ego, we'll love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that you said that. Respect his opinion. That's that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, but Amy's Amy's your buddy. She's your she's been you've known her for for twenty years. Do the mm-hmm. invite just like I said. I'll give you the code after this call so you can listen back to it. Write okay. it down. Make sure you've got it there so it's nice and confident for you. Um, because this invite needs to come, needs to become visceral. It needs to become part of you. Visceral means you know in you. This this invite. Okay. It's always being in a hurry, using your why, being excited about this business project you just got started. Reason for showing you what I'm doing. I want you to I want you to know just so you can refer me, but secondly, because you're the same age as me, you've got retirement around the corner as well, it may suit you too. I don't know if it's going to be your cup of tea, but let's get together at this time. See how it just comes, it just flows off the tongue in me because I've said it for two years on this purge call and I do it myself. And if okay. you can get that invite down like that, uh-huh. and it's just practice, you will kill this business because everything's done for you except the invite. Everything's right. done for other, other than showing up. Uh, and we're, I'm assuming you're going to show up. Uh-huh. But the presentation's done for you. The three-way call is done for you. Who are going to do the decision for you? The training's done for you. All you've got to do is show up to work and make sure you invite people. So be a great inviter, and, and you will kill this business. But okay. that's how I would invite uh, Jeff and Amy. Got any questions? I got on one that? more. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Kim and Larry. I work with Kim. Mm-hmm. She is a uh, a patient coordinator where I work. And uh, her husband, her husband Larry. I don't know him very well, but I think he works for the Department of Transportation. And he just bought a brand new Corvette. I'm not sure how. <laughs> you know. But I. He is such a nice, I mean, I've met him several times, and he's a very just always happy, smiling, nice man. I mean, you know, presents himself, and I mean, I just love him. He's wonderful. And Mm -hmm. um, so I've got got Kim's phone number, Mm -hmm. so um, I I don't know much more about Larry other than, you know, I don't. don't How old are they? Uh, They'd be in their 50s, older than me, closer to 60. Any any kids that they're still responsible for? Uh, I think they've got two daughters, and they're both. Um, I think one is at work in the workforce, and the other one is still in college. Okay, I think it's exactly the same uh, invite as Amy and Jeff, the one I just did. So okay. listen back to the recording and just copy it. All right, that's what I'll do. Yeah, nice and easy. Heather, you're awesome. 
Oh, no, you I'm telling are. You just, no, no, you are. <laughs> no, you are. I'm telling you. I, <laughs> I, said, I said on the accountability call yesterday, I've seen a massive change already this week. It's, it's, it's marked the change. I just have to keep practicing, awesome, practicing, practicing. So I'm telling you, make that invite visceral. Make it part. Make it in your heart so you're okay. literally saying it in your sleep. Get that down okay. and you will kill this. All right. Okay. All right, my lovely so, one. Enjoy the training tomorrow. Okay. And I'll um, call, in, call in on Sunday night at the usual time. Yes, and, and make sure you get those two calls in because I'd like you to try and make sure you've had I've got at least the 10 names that were on the list. If we've got any extras, then great. Um, but that's kind of what we want to do. My job as the accountability partner is just to make sure you do what you said you were going to do. Um, okay. And then on Sunday night, we're going to purge the list. And, we're going to, uh, and then I'm going to let you go, which is going to break my heart, of course. And um, I'm going to obviously very much encourage you to get your, yourself an accountability partner so that you can keep doing this purge routine week after week after week after week. And as I say, 15 to 18 months, you'll be in EC. Okay. And, and I'll be sitting in the audience watching you get pinned, and I'll be crying like a baby. I cry at weddings. Oh. Oh. And let me tell you, let me tell you, this is a big confession. I watched um, Finding Nemo, right? The, the Disney movie, or Pixar movie. Or is it for Disney yeah. or Pixar? One of the two. Yeah. Four times I cried. Four times I cried in that movie. Not only a little <laughs> sniffle out loud, embarrassingly loud in the cinema. <laughs> that is pathetic. <laughs> it is pathetic, isn't it? Pathetic. Well, the problem is, I'm a dad and I've got a son, and of course, you know, uh, Marlin loses, ne- can't find Nemo, and I'm thinking, that's my little boy, and I'm losing it. I'm just pathetic. I know I look, I look like a WWE wrestler, but I have the emotions of a ballerina. I'm telling you, it's just pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, but anyway, yeah. All right, lovely. Well, great week. Um, have a great training tomorrow. Hopefully, you'll get some really good stuff. Um, and I'd be interested actually to hear on Sunday how the training went, and okay. maybe how it and how it relates to this purge call training. Because this purge, yeah. because what you're going to learn on on Saturday is going to be a lot of you know when this happens, do this. When this happens, do this. Whereas the okay. purge call training is this did happen. What do I do about it? This did happen. It's, it's real. It's live stuff. Whereas the training is going to be, you know, motivational, good stories, great training. And I'd be interested to see how the two tie together. So, um, so yeah, I'd be interested to hear. Well, put, put some time aside on Sunday to talk about that. All right. All right. Okay, Wonderful. Thank you Saturday. so much. Indeed. And you, my lovely, and I'll see you very soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye now.